Hello guys, welcome to Careless Orders. In this video, we are going to be doing Google Sign In. Okay, so let's get started. So first, we have this simple UI which has a button for Google Sign In and when you click on that button, it will take you to another page. So let me just show you how it looks in our emulator. Okay, so here we have the button, we click it and we go to our next screen. The first thing that we, the first step will be to do all the pre-requirements. So first of all, we need the packet Google sign-in. We are going to import it into our file. So let's copy this Google sign-in. After this, we will get our import directory and we'll paste it in our main. The next step that we will be doing is we need to create our Firestore project. If you have already done it, feel free to skip this step. So I will, I'll be setting up a new Firestore project very quickly. So now after this we are going to be going to our authentication here and we need to get started and we need to enable our Google we need to enable email password as well so let's do these steps Now we still hasn't set up our Firestore project so we will click on this Android icon and we will register our app quickly. Now there is SH1 fingerprint you can add it here but in this video we are going to be doing later so don't worry about that. Just you need to download this Google services and copy and paste it inside your app directory here. It's a pretty simple step and uh, if you just follow the instructions that are written there you can do it easily after that here in our project in your different gradle files you have to just copy these So after we have done these steps, we have successfully set up our Firestore project and now we can start doing other things. So first we go to project settings and inside the settings we need to add SHA fingerprints for our Google sign in to work. So let's start this step where we are going to be adding our SHA1 and SH256 fingerprints for the Google sign in to work. Now in this now in this step you need to do go to your terminal and you need to go to the directory your package and android so to that to do that you can just type cd android in your command and will you will reach your directory like here my project name android and after that you have to type gradle w signing report and press enter and with that your SHA keys will be generated now do keep in mind that sometimes you may need to add Java and other as your environmental variable you may have already done but you haven't you can set it so now we will 
add our sh1 fingerprints and sh2 fingerprints and if you have found find any problem you can just ask in the comment section and i'll be i'll be happy to help you so you will add this fingerprint similarly you have to add your sh 256 fingerprint and we are doing it for the release variant make sure that and I would recommend you to do the same. So let's copy this one. Hmm. All right, so we have added our SH1 and 256 fingerprints. After that, you need to download your Google services.json file again and replace it with that json file okay now we can move to our next step which is our coding part now what we will be doing is we need to also import two packages firebase core and firebase auth into our project and these are also a must for our google sign in to work so let's import these two Now after this we need just one more thing and then we will start our main part and in our void main you have to initialize your firebase in the newer version of this firebase new library we have to do this step too so type widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialize and after that await firebase dot initialize app and for this you need to make your main async okay so after this now we are going to be making another dart file and we will name it auth service dot dart <coughs> in this we will make our class auth service Now we would import the same files that we, we will be needing. First we will make our variable final firebase auth. And this will make firebase instance. This will be used for our auth services. instance now we need to make our another variable google sign in google user and will be equal to google sign in so after making these two variables next thing we will be making another function future sign in with google inside it we will be putting our code inside a try block so that if any error occurs our app doesn't crash and a try also requires a cat so we will give it that we'll print app our exception now inside catch first we will do trigger authentication flow so how you will be doing that make a variable final google sign in account Google user Google sign in dot sign in and this will be an await since this is a future we need to make it async 
now we will also print our google user so that we know we can see in our console now if our google user is not equal to null then we will be doing we will make a variable google sign in authentication and we will after that call await google user dot authentication and we will also print our google auth this is to obtaining our auth details Now the next thing that we will be doing in this function is creating new credentials for the person. So we'll make another variable Google Auth Credential and we will call Google Auth Provider dot credential and the credential function takes two variables access token and id token which you will get from your previous variable google auth so we call id token will be your google auth dot id token and then access token will be your google auth dot access token after this we will again print our credentials Last thing, lastly, what we'll be doing is make a user variable and call our sign in with credential and we'll also print our user dot provider data. So now our sign in with Google function has been made. Next function we will be making is to sign out. So we'll make wide sign out, and this is a very simple function. Our Google sign in dot sign out. And then we will also print that user signed out. We have successfully completed our sign out, sign in and sign out functions. Now we will be doing it. Now we will be doing it, our code inside our raised button. The button in which we will be clicking and going to our next screen. So first inside it, we, we have to make it async. After that, we will make our variable Firebase auth. And this variable will be used to get our details this will be this can provide you the email display name phone number and all the other credentials okay so now we will be calling our sign in function await auth service dot google sign in sign in with google after that dot then we will navigate to our next screen 
and while navigating we will provide our name and email address now what we need to do is call navigator dot push material page route context then we will be navigating to our next screen and inside it we will be providing two variables auth dot current user dot display name and you can see it's so many things that you can do with it so many information we will be already requiring to auth dot current user dot display name and our current user dot email address this is just how we made our next screen we are taking two variables and we will be showing it so this is pretty much done now let's run it and see how it works So sign in and this is how it will open choose any account if you haven't add any account you will have to add it and here you can see name and email address is shown here and you can see in our console all the details that we printed now what we will be doing is we will be doing logout as well so for that i am just quickly going to add another raised button in our next screen so make it async and then we will be calling our auth service dot google sign out with google and after that okay so we don't need a wait neither do we need a sync for that since it's a void now let's run it again and see if there is any problem so we sign in and then we click log out and you can see on the console that says user log out yeah.